something with y'all real quick. This is the kind of stuff that irks me, all right? I got this car, this is a Dodge Charger, okay? It's in for some warranty repair. I have warranty repairs. Now, I can only assume uh, maybe the customer ain't paid they, uh, they bill. It's one of those where they can uh, disable the start system or the ignition system uh, wirelessly. <laughs> Anywhere in the world, they can cut the car off. But that does nothing for me. I am a commission mechanic, okay? I have warranty work to do on this car. I do not have time for the customer to, I don't know, pay her bill or her to duke it out with her company. I have approval to do some work on this car. All right, guys, I am <clears throat> now in the shop. Okay, finally, I get to make some money. Now, let's go look under the hood and see what we got. Y'all see that check engine like, um, all right. Okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> I guess they just merely push the button on their computer and close the circuit. And now the car is able to start. I don't want to know. I need to close this back all up. Make it look like I never was rambling around in there. Okay? Look, you can still see the little light flashing. <laughs> Crazy. All right. Uh, now what I'm got to do is find out the ticking. It's the ticker noise. Okay, it was louder the first day it came in. It's not so loud now. <clears throat> so we might be able to... This is what I call a baby tick. It's one of those we might get away with just simply replacing uh, a rock on just starting to come apart guys every time you hear me say uh, I can distinguish between a real hardcore tick which probably also would need a <clears throat> camshaft okay this is a baby tick it's likely gonna need just the rocker on but you won't know until you tear it down guys so uh, always utilize your tear down time or try to get tear down time because you need to go in and see how many, if any, is bad? You, that's really a slim chance that none of them is bad. Okay, so I always assume, uh, you know, something is a rock arm is bad just because the engine is ticking. You don't know nothing. Somebody been in here. You don't know nothing until you tear the car apart. Look at all this blue stuff on here. So, guys, without wasting any more time. Uh, now, the first day it came in, I heard the tick on this side. So, I'm going to wage my bet on this side uh now you can do take the valve cover off on this side without removing the intake but i gotta take the intake off anyway because they sold a tune-up so regardless the intake got to come off and uh, that's where i would proceed to remove the valve cover find my tick utilize my jt pentastar field test okay i went over that with y'all on the last video guys <laughs> i did did the jt pentastar field test all I do is grab the rocker arm and try to move it. <laughs> Pretty fairly simple, guys, but uh, that's a little name I like to give it. So, without further ado, man, let's get this thing torn down and find out what's going on. All right, there's only so much I can record, guys, so uh, whatever you get, uh, I'll see what I can get you. I'll see if I can get you even more. All right, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to go to ad break. I will be right back. We're back. You got this valve cover off. Oh, um, now we can start our JT Pentastar field test. All right, ooh, right off the bat, guys. Y'all see that? That camshaft is chewed up on the edges. That means it is eating into the, I bet you this, this is not on the lobe, so. Yep, that's loose. Okay, just looking at the lobes. Oh, no, this one, I was wrong, guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to end up needing a cam, an intake cam on bank two. So, yes, guys, I was correct on my prediction about the noise coming from bank two. But I was wrong on my prediction about this may simply need rocker arms. So what I am learning from this is it don't matter what. Uh, you should tear it down and do your estimate based off your findings from the tear down. Okay, so... You guys can learn from my mistakes, and I can learn as I go from my own mistakes, okay? Uh, I will be recommending when I get a ticker that I tear it down in order to give an accurate 
diagnosis. Okay, so this job is under warranty. I can merely add a camshaft to it, but hypothetically, just say if this was CP, I would have had to call the customer back and tell them I need another $300 for a Bank 2 intake manifold intake camshaft. All right, that is painful. Customers hate being called back asking for more money. They start thinking the original diagnosis was flawed. I and mean, you don't want that kind of reputation, guys. So, yeah, look at that. You can see that's being eaten into. So it is coming from this side. I'm still going to do the other side or take it apart. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, let me grab a couple of tools and get this off. Now, I had a video. I haven't even released it yet. I have to edit it, showing the proper way to remove a camshaft. Of course, the cam phasers got to come off, and you will affect the timing. And this is the easy engine. I don't technically need any tools to do this one. But guys, you must mark, bring top dead center up, bring number one piston up, or bring up top dead center and mark it. Okay, no matter how you lay this chain, you're not gonna come out of time from the crankshaft. So I'm gonna merely loosen this uh, intake oil control valve to remove this camshaft or this cam phaser and essentially remove the, I have to remove, I'm going to replace all the rock arms on this bank, on this head. Actually, all of them that I find wrong. This warranty, we can only do the ones that's broken. I know you guys be drilling me about, why not just do them all? Well, we have rules around here, guys. We have to replace the ones that's uh, failed. It doesn't matter if it come back next week with a ticking noise. We have to do the ones that fail. That's just the rules that we're under. <laughs> so I'm obligated to follow those rules. All right, so I'm going to grab a couple of tools. We're going to start getting this camshaft off. All right. Uh, the guy that got the special tools, I don't really want to show you all this without the special tools. But for you more advanced mechanics or technicians, uh, it's fairly easy, guys. I I'll, I'll, I'll still let the camera run anyway. Just put a disclaimer out there um, for the beginner guy because I don't want him getting, I don't want him thinking, I don't want you guys thinking this is easy. This is not easy. I just make it look easy because I have done uh, quite a few now at this stage in the game. So, uh, but I, I'll film what I can, guys. Stay tuned. Let me go to uh, another ad break. I'll be right back. All right, guys, y'all saw the condition of that camshaft. <laughs> I don't think I ever seen one like this. Um, the lobe on, what is that? Two, four, and six, the lobe on, no, that's four. Cylinder four right here, it's completely gone. I don't think I've ever seen one. Look at that, guys. Where is the lobe? You know, each lobe's supposed to match on a given cylinder. So this lobe here is right here. This one right here should be the same. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen uh, one that bad, guys. That is, that's what I was under the impression that would give that thud sound, but I wasn't getting the thud sound. And keep in mind, I started it first thing cold, so I don't know if that played a role in it. But at any rate, 
you need to do your inspection. You need to do an inspection before you give an estimate, guys. Or you can get tricked like this. Okay, this lobe is completely wiped out. Now, I dodged a bullet myself because, like I said, it's warranty. I do not have to call the customer back. Look at that. The lobe is gone. You know what that mean? also mean, guys? Those shavings are still somewhere in this engine. So if you don't do nothing else after you do a job like this, you have to change the oil and the filter. Hopefully, hopefully the lubrication system did its job and any trash in the oiling system was captured by the filter. Okay, naturally the oil pump going to continue to try and do its job by delivering oil and pressure. Uh, but it wants to deliver clean oil and pressure up to the various lubrication points. Okay, so. Alright guys, as you can see I have bank one off. This one look even worse than the other one. Look at that. Of course, just the the broken rocker on. But look at the cam. Good lord. So I have no choice. I'm gonna need two cams for this head, both intake. So it might be an intake thing, guys. I don't know. So I needed an intake for the other head, and I needed a I need an intake for this head. I mean, look at that. That sucker is chewed all the way up. Alright guys, let's finish up. Alright guys, I got this thing back together. I decided against showing you how I put that together. Uh, the incorrect way and like I said I've done enough to know how to shortcut and put it together so the one the video that I upload will show how to put those together correctly okay now I'm in the middle of changing the oil you must remember we talked about you must change the oil okay let's take a look see guys out of all the notice all the uh, it was a complete lobe missing on this engine okay the camshaft that I replaced over here. The whole lobe was gone, guys. So, where are those shavings? I would expect to see little particles of aluminum shavings all over the filter, but there's not. Wow. Now, I haven't changed the oil yet uh, because I'm, I don't have a car in the air yet. But, wow, guys. That's what I say, man. Those shavings got to go somewhere. Hopefully, they'll come out when I drain the oil. All right? But as of now, it don't look like the filter caught any of it. That was a lot of shavings missing. I mean, that was a complete lobe missing off that camshaft. All right. Well, I'm going back in with a new filter. I'm changing the oil and filter. So, we'll see, guys. We'll see how it turn out. Up in the air. Uh-uh. Oh, oh. Man, guys, I don't know about y'all, but I'm hoping I see some uh, shavings in this oil, guys. Because this is, that whole cam load was missing. All right, let's see, y'all. Cross your fingers, y'all. I don't know if it's going to show up or not. Man. You can't, I don't think you'll be able to really tell. Now, the oil pan is kind of tilted a little bit. And actually, the oil sets into a, in a well. So if any made up metal shavings or any aluminum shavings going to make its way, it might. I mean, it might just be trapped, right? The proper way to do this, guys, I know y'all hate to hear this. And look at all this stuff. Uh, electric power steering. Oh, man, nobody wants to drop this oil pan. Oh. Uh, like I say, guys, it may be, they may be coming out in the liquid. I just can't see it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you're not going to see anything that way. In fact, that oil is not even, uh, that, you know, that black is not, I don't know, man. Where is those shavings? All you can do now is, guys, hope that they don't make its way uh, in the wrong spot and cause damage. That's all you can hope for at this point. Well, guys, I'm going to have to wrap this video up. Um, I end up doing that uh, camshaft and all those lifter uh, rocker arms. 
end up replacing a camshaft that one of the lobes was completely wiped out. All right, and I promise you guys, I'm going to get with y'all on uh, the proper way to replace camshaft and cam phasers. I didn't want to show y'all that way. All right, guys, that's all. Y'all see that nice HP back there? That's all I have, guys. Let me wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video.